Hello and welcome to tonight's uh, SVC News. The Ministry of Health is officially lifting the alert and recall on uh, clocaxelin as of today. The healthcare agency's CEO, Dr. Danny Louange, said that results of all investigations conducted show absolutely no anomaly with that particular medicine. Dr. Louange is also reminding the public that some people may be allergic to some medicines, including antibiotics. Patients need to know what medicines they are allergic to and must share this information with their caregivers if they have any allergies. The Ministry of Health imposed the alert and recall on clocaxelin last month following unrelated clinical incidents that warranted further investigations. The Ministry also urges medical practitioners in the public and private sectors to always show caution and restraints with regard to prescribing antibiotics. Most shop owners are respecting the maximum retail price regulation which was put into place in October last year. This regulation falls under the Control of Supplies and Services Act which was put into place by the government to help ease the cost of living. 14 STC products fall under the regulation. The Fair Trading Commission and the Seychelles Licensing Authority, the SLA, have been conducting investigations to ensure that shop owners are following the regulation. Since November 2022, over 142 retailers have been inspected, of which 31 breached the order. Until now, 24 out of the 31 retailers who breached the order have accepted to compound the offence for a fine determined by FTC and SLA not exceeding the maximum fine of 10,000 rupees. Legal proceedings are being initiated for the other retailers who have not accepted to compound their offences. Nonetheless, it is encouraging to find that 80% of the retailers that have been inspected on Mahe, Prale and Ladig are abiding to the order. Therefore, close to 10,000 rupees in fines have been collected until now FTC and SLA remains committed in its efforts to uphold the order and will proceed with its regular inspections. We wish to take this opportunity to encourage all retailers to respect the order and encourage the public as well to report any breaches. It's time for wetlands restoration. This is a theme for this year's World Wetlands Day, which was commemorated locally by a gathering of students and other partners at the Constance Ephelia Resort this morning. Constance Ephelia hosts one of the main wetlands areas in the country, 124 hectares of mangrove with international recognition under the Ramsar Convention. One of the main highlights of the event was the signing of an MOU for the co-management of the Paul Glopoloni mangrove area between the resort, the Department of Environment and a new community-based NGO from Apoglo, the L Foundation. Today is, a, is an amazing day for, for us, for Constance Ophelia. Uh, because we are renewing the collaboration that we have with the Ministry of Environment and our property uh, with regards to the conservation and the management of the wetland which is surrounding the hotel. It is critical, and as we have seen in the presentation, how we have worked together to rehabilitate the mangrove, the wetland, to uh, rebuild and uh, reconstruct or, or, or enhance what, what we used to have. It, it has been um, a, a, a lot of work for the past seven years and uh, I sincerely would like to thank all the partners who have uh, supported us. We're very proud and very humble as well to be in this beautiful environment and it is the responsibility, our responsibility, all of us, to make sure that we continue to protect this unique side that we have. The Minister of Education, Dr. Justin Valentin, today made his uh, first official visit to the Seychelles Business Studies Academy, the SBSA. The minister, together with his delegation from the ministry, had a chance to tour the facility, talk uh, with both students and lecturers, as well as meet with the management team. The aim of the visit was to better understand how the institution operates and how best the ministry can offer support. Several difficulties the school face was highlighted during the visit. 
This includes a lack of space and lecturers. The minister said that to address these difficulties, they need to look at other ways of doing things, such as online learning. The, the aim of today's visit is to really bring more support to the school. It is clear that this school is, is, is running satisfactorily. The, the ministry, headquarters, management is, is, is satisfied with the way the school is operating. But of course, there are a few challenges. For instance, the issue of space and the issue, the shortage of teachers. So we are working together to ensure that we look for new models, especially new models of operation, and also new models of recruitment, so that we can ensure that the academy fulfill its mandate. Gérard Waro and Lambert Woodcock have been reappointed as chairperson and vice chairperson, respectively, of the new board of the Seychelles Meteorological Authority. The other board members are Vincent Amélie, Justin Prosper, Ruth Poole, Davy Labrosse, Ronnie Alcedo, and Wills Agricole. The board has been appointed for a three year period, effective from the 1st of February. Join us again at 8 for the News Bulletin in Creole. Good evening.